Oh. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Bike Books. This is the time of the day that I love. Look at this beautiful woman next to me. Makes me look so hot. How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah. Good. Her name is Sarah Adler. She was one of the contestants who submitted a video on the contest that we were running for the Bike Books. We ask a few people, or we ask people on Facebook, submit a video of yourself cooking away and become a contestant on this show. Sarah was one of the winners. Mm -hmm. Round of applause. <laughs> so the good part is she's, she's a nutritionist. So she's gonna tell us what to eat and what not to eat, right? Right. Is that what you spend your life doing? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Why do you tell people not to eat? <laughs> You make it fun? Yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. So tell me, bacon, what do you think of that? Love it. Love it. How often should I have it? <laughs> <laughs> this is good. I like this show. <laughs> We're still talking about bacon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, she started a business recently, a few months ago. How's that going? Great. Lots of customers? Yeah, people like it. I People love it when you say you eat bacon. Yeah, I would think they would like that. I like when people tell me I can eat bacon. Just a little. So what's the secret? You're a nutritionist. What's a good secret of good health diet? Oh, not diet, I'm sorry, I hate the word diet. Of a good, healthy eating. Yeah. Um, it's, it's about eating real food and stuff that's unprocessed. So even if it is butter, even if it is bacon, things that have been around a really long time, generally better for you than the stuff that's advertised as being healthy. Um, food that doesn't have a label on it, doesn't have marketing on it. So are you saying stuff. if there is a label you definitely should read it? Oh yeah. Because if there is some word you don't understand, yeah, it usually means you should not be eating it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. I believe that a hundred percent. Yeah. When you turn the thing around and there is some word name that you don't know and exists now. Mm -hmm. Usually it means don't touch it with a 10 foot pole. Exactly. That's the translation for it. <laughs> yeah. Any other advice for anybody who wants to eat all the food they can eat, mm -hmm. but don't, they don't want to give up anything really, but they want to eat good food? Yeah, I think um, eating more vegetables is always good, um, but also not being intimidated by cooking. It, it doesn't have to be hard to, to cook, and it only takes, you know, the stuff that I make, Usually it's like maybe 20 minutes at the most, um, and that's what I wanted to do tonight. And tonight's going to be fuller and longer because it's a cold meal, but um, in general, like stuff that's just easy and quick and fresh food and real food and stuff that's good for you, but it doesn't take a lot of time. So, does do you ever not cook for three hours, or do you have occasionally cook for three hours? No, I never cook for three hours. Ah, no, we're, going, we're, going, night, we're going in another section here, right. the section of like, I want to eat good food, but I don't want to cook a long time. Right. Yeah, and you're going to have to take a That's good. Time. Yeah. So what are you going to make for us tonight? So tonight we're going to do um, a roasted red pepper harissa. So it's made of tomatoes. Um, we're going to roast the tomatoes, the red bell peppers, and a jalapeno together with a little bit of garlic. And then we're going to blend it together and make a sauce that can actually freeze the sauce and I brought this. So when we make the sauce, um, a great idea is if you're going to spend the time to make a sauce to actually freeze it in little ice cube trays and so you can keep it in the freezer and use it over anything. So even if you have a plain chicken breast um, and you have this great sauce, it's usually a really easy meal for this evening. I've been saying this for years. Buy a, buy a few ice cube trays, make your stock, reduce it down, put it in the ice cube tray, put it in the freezer, pop it up, sandwich bag, date it, pop it in the microwave when you need it, pour in a bucket of water, and then you're done. Right. And so this sauce goes great over anything that you make. So tonight I'm going to do um, some roasted salmon, roasted asparagus, and some roasted potatoes. And the sauce goes great over all of them. We'll probably just put it over salmon tonight. But it goes great over any kind of vegetable, any kind of seafood, any kind of meat. That's what makes it pretty versatile. You're going to spend the time to make it, you might as well make something that's going to go for one. Sure, I'm with you. And Harissa, you can already, you can buy it already made, you know, but I do go in for the, uh, the job. Yeah. It's a good friend of mine. 
he makes a killer arisa. Arisa is something you can keep in your refrigerator for quite some time. It's kind of like ketchup or, you know, tomato stew kind of idea. So how do you stop the whole thing? So oh, by the way, did I forget to tell you, you get 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just kidding. But I would like to see it done in 20 minutes. No, I'm Don't cut yourself. We have plenty of time, right? Yeah. Right. Those guys are not hungry or anything. No, And then they're gonna go to Luke and have dinner at Luke, right? Yeah, exactly. All right. Have you been to Luke? No. Ah, you know where it is? Yeah. Okay, good. What? Why are you not going there? I wanted to meet you first, see if I like you. <laughs> do, you, do you always date the chef you go to the restaurant too? I mean. Yes, I want to do this for that. I'm just kidding. No, but we'll see. So, this is great. I thought it was a cooking show. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for Jerry Springer to show up. Wrong camera or something. She dated the chef. Yeah. 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 Alright, so you're, that, you're julienning the uh, petros or you're slicing them? Just slicing them. It, it doesn't, doesn't have to be specific. It doesn't have to be specific. Um, just taking out the seeds. Yeah, you're removing the, the seeds. And a little the membrane. The membrane gets uh, a little bitter if you right. leave it in. So just pulling it out. This knife is pretty big. But Do you want me to start putting a pot on the fire for you, for your sauce or no? Huh? No. No, okay. We're going to do it in the oven. Okay, we're doing yeah. everything in the oven. Everything in the oven. Thank God we have a camera in there. Yeah. <laughs> this is a uh, one pan meal, if you will. Except we're going to use two pans at the time. It's a little bit different. But if you wanted to, you could just do it on one pan. How long have you been cooking? Uh, let's see. Not that long. This is like four years. I obviously don't have any training. How did you still... get into it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I got into it because I wanted to make healthy food and just to kind of have a little bit more control. And I was always trying to make things healthier um, than the original recipe. When but you say when you say you don't have any training, I think training comes with practice. I think so too. You don't have to go to school to become a cook at home. Or, I mean, she's obviously not trying to open a restaurant. No. Yet. Right. By the way, if you open, <laughs> open across the street, okay? Don't open on the same block. Okay. <laughs> 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 so I'm just uh, putting a little olive oil, uh -huh. a little sea salt, and pepper. And what we're going to do is just roast it. So I'm going to toss it with my hands here. What temperature do you roast at? Um, 400. 400? Yeah. So, so why did you keep the seeds in this one and not in the rest of it? Yeah, is that so this, this is purposely, so this is a jalapeno pepper, so I feel a little spicy to me. Oh! <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, <Sarah. laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow! So, so this cooking show stuff. <laughs> My job just got a slightly bit more interesting. <laughs> okay. What do you do with the asparagus? So now we're going to roast everything. This is okay. how I could. Just no, no, it's cool, it's cool. I love, easy. you know, I really okay, love you do one pan dish. No, I love this kind of stuff. You could do this on your barbecue outside, exactly. your Viking barbecue. You know, you have a big four footer outside. You open the thing, you could do the same thing. You could put everything on one sheet pan. Exactly. Put everything on the barbecue, close the lid. Bingo, bingo, you come back, go make yourself a cocktail, margarita or two. You know, and come back a few minutes later, an hour later. How long does it take to roast? Uh, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes? Yeah. Hey, you know, plenty of time to make a nice drink. Yeah. And drink it too. Yeah. So what are we doing? Do we, do we have any of those up here? What do you need? Drink. Huh? Drink. <laughs> oh, bottle. No, no. Oh, let me see, I got the blender right here. All I need is ice and rum. Good business. Yeah. Um, so these are pop blanched already? These are. Um, and I did that so that because we're going to put the salmon on the same pan as the asparagus and the potatoes. So 
So did you notice she's keeping your potatoes in a plastic bag? Like I guess you know you, you blanch those potatoes ahead of time, the day before you drain it, you cool it up, you put them in a plastic bag, keep them in your fridge. There's a lot of things you can do with potatoes that are already blanched, such as a quick dish like she's doing. You could also make a nice potato salad if you were making a quick grilled chicken on the barbecue, you don't want to turn on the stove in the house. Just dice the potatoes, mix with a little whatever you want, tomatoes or green asparagus, whatever, then you will have a great salad and stuffing. So boil potato in the fridge in the summertime, get a big pot going at the same time so you can use them in many different ways. Yeah. And also, the, I mean, I think the technique of roasting, people don't... Um, don't use it enough. They don't use it enough. Yeah. They don't like vegetables because they think vegetables are too good. But um, anytime you roast, you turn the oven up to such a high temperature that it caramelizes the sugar in the vegetables so it makes them taste sweeter. So I'll tell a lot of clients that have kids that say that they won't eat vegetables that they should try roasting them and maybe put a little butter on yep. them. What kid doesn't like butter? What adult doesn't like butter, right? Well, you wrap it, and, then you, and then you wrap the whole thing in bacon. <laughs> butter, bacon, exactly. who doesn't like that? Yeah. So I think it's a, and I, that's actually how I make most of my um, vegetables, most of the food, is just to roast it. So really high oven temp, 400 degrees, um, or you can do it the barbecue. It's kind of the same technique. Well, I mean, this time, this time of year, when it gets hot, not here, in the other 48 states, <laughs> when it gets really hot, <laughs> you don't want to turn on the stove in the kitchen, you just turn on the barbecue outside and you can use your barbecue for many different things. One of the greatest things of a barbecue is it's an oven. So you can roast, you can grill, you can do all kinds of things and it facilitates the, uh, the cooking part, especially with that. Yeah. You can put an old cast iron pan on your grill for 20 minutes. When you come back it's hot, drop a little bit of butter in there, drop those potatoes in there and toss them around. You can have beautiful potato risole Instantly, in like five minutes, you'll have gorgeous potatoes. Any questions? Sarah is here. She's only here for the next 15 minutes. After we're going for a cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> I'm holding to you. No, I'm, I'm, I'm holding you to you. She's like, I'm not joking. I'm like, me neither. Um, so, what I am going to do is put a little olive oil on the pan where the fish is going to go. So that Doesn't stick. when it comes, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, got the the salmon skin on the back of it, which is, will really just stick to the pan. And you don't do anything. So it's a great. Remember this when you do. You put a piece of protein, chicken, salmon, any kind of fish, meat. You put it on a piece of on a on a pan like this, and you put it in the oven. Always try to oil the bottom part of it because otherwise you're gonna have to clean that stupid pan for five minutes or twenty minutes. Even. Yeah if you do things right, when if you put oil underneath, all you have to do is grab the salmon and it comes right out. Make sense? Yeah. It's called grease it up, baby. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's called that, but I just made that. Yeah. It sounded good, though. Yeah, we like that. That's good. So you want to make sure all the vegetables have the oil really rubbed on it. So, you know, because if you, if you roast asparagus without any fat on it, Asparagus is pretty dry, so it's going to dry up and it's not going to be as pleasant. Or if you put the fat coating on it, it will roast a lot better. And I'm with Sarah. Roast your vegetable. Oh, yeah. It gives another layer of flavor into anything you eat. Cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, zucchini. No, not zucchini. It turns into water. Um, you know, but many different vegetables. Most vegetables will do much better roasted in the oven. Pass it in a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, 450 degree oven, lay it down on a sheet pan, go make yourself another thing to eat, and then you come back and it's a perfect pair. For yeah. Thanksgiving, it's one of my favorite things. I do a giant roasting pan of root vegetable and all roasted, and it's delicious. I love that stuff. Okay, okay what do we do next? They're not doing so good. Let me click it up. I'm gonna put at 500 degrees. Yeah. So we'll Remember, we're kind of camping here, yeah. so. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's like no running water. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm building, I'm building a, uh, a campfire in the back for the marshmallow later on. No, it's like.
Um, so we're just going to wait a few minutes because these will actually cook pretty quickly. Um, and the worst thing that you want to do is overcook fish. Um, and one of the best things to do is, if you're not sure, if it looks like it's almost done, kind of cut through the middle, the thickest piece of it. And you actually, with salmon, you do want it to be a little bit, a little bit uncooked, because when you take it out, it actually continues cooking for the next probably five minutes. So even when you barbecue, um, and if you barbecue fish or a lot of um, meat, but mostly seasoning, if you pull it out just a little bit before you think it's actually done, it will continue cooking. And if you do a roast of any kind or a piece of meat of any size, whether it's chicken, a big steak or whatever, the most important part when you cook or you roast is to let it rest afterward. You know, I go through this all the time. You take a roast, not even, no bigger than this, that's got to rest at least 20 minutes. And most of you are going to say, yeah, but it's going to get cold. And you say, and that's why you have an oven. You slice your roast after it's well rested, you lay it down very well spaced on a sheet pan or on a platter. You flash it in the oven for two minutes. It's hot again, but it's cooked the way you want it and it's got all the juice back where they belong. Was that good nutrition that class? Good. We're doing good yeah. so far. Yeah. <laughs> I can't yeah. send you on oh, no, no. uh, You know, it's not gonna change in two minutes. I think it's not done very fast. I need a towel. Let me see if you think it's better on the bottom. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. No, it's cooking. It's cooking. Maybe we turn on the bottom. You know. We could pretend too. Yeah, pretend. we could. We could pretend. You could pretend, yes. But you were pretend. <laughs> <laughs> She's very fun. Oh. All right. Yeah. Shall we put this? Yeah. Let's do another cocktail today. Yeah. Let's do the pretend. So, we have tomato, bell peppers, asparagus, yeah. potatoes, yeah. green beans, mm -hmm. that we <laughs> I like that, not tonight. Yeah. That's going to be a problem because I like have lots of green beans in my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, have you ever roasted green beans? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It tastes really good. Mm -hmm. The other night I did uh, just roasted corn in the oven. In oven and then cut it off the pot and made a uh, fresh corn salad. It was really with green beans? With green beans, with tomato, avocado, and Wow. Yeah. Sounds delicious to me. So tell us, you're a nutritionist. Uh, what's your favorite restaurant in Seattle? Or some of your favorite restaurants in Seattle? You, you could never have just one. Where do you go out and eat? There's so many good I know. Do you, you go out and eat? Um, yeah. That's good. Serafina, great restaurant. I love chicken in the back. Chicken in the back. I love, um, I don't know. It's hard, it's hard for me to restaurant. think of, uh, I don't know. Where else do you go? Where do you like to eat? What kind of food do you like? Do you have a preference of Italian, German, no, French, American? I love it all. You love it all? Yeah. The only thing I won't eat is there, some, is there something you want to Muscle. Muscle? And mayonnaise. I don't like to put mayonnaise on my muscles, Ooh. but... <laughs> <laughs> Why muscles? Just, you like clams? Not really. You don't like clams? No, it's shellfish. You like oysters? Yeah. Oh, it's not just muscles. There's more well, to I'll, the story. I'll, I'll, I'll drag it out. Yeah. Muscles, clams, and oysters. Have you had bad stories with them? No. No? You just don't like the texture? Just the texture, thinking about where they come from. Where do they come from? The ocean? Yeah, yeah. The ocean? I don't know. You don't like the... They just seem like something you shouldn't eat. Where do you think the salmon is coming from? <laughs> just making sure. There's no water. Same body of water. <laughs> it's more probably the texture. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite thing to cook? Uh, you know, this is going to sound so typical, but um, I, I really like cooking vegetables. Okay. I, I like making vegetables taste good, so that, uh, you know, and most of the time that's roasting. Uh -huh. But like doing different things, so even like this sauce that we're making, we just 
all of this, which you're getting a lot of nutrition out of, but you can't really, you wouldn't taste it and, and think like, oh, this is me eating my vegetables. Yeah, because there's no spinach in here. No. There's no farro. Right. There's no, you know, there's none of the like, right. just corporate tastes, of just like, oh, you're getting healthy. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah. And I think that, you know, people think that eating healthy is, you know, food has to taste bad. Or it's not flavorful, or it's really boring, or really bland, or just being eating kale and spinach all the time. But um, it's much more than that. How many of you out there would not have dinner without a piece of meat on the plate? You would not have dinner without a piece of meat on the plate? Ah, look at that, there's not that many people. How about, how about without any protein as in fish or meat on the plate? Most people would have a vegetarian dinner, look at that. That's, yeah. It's yeah. pretty impressive. And it's, um, I'm not a vegetarian. <laughs> He's probably said, hey, wait a minute. I didn't say I was going to eat vegetarian. <laughs> How about rice and potatoes and beans? Are we good? <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty convincing. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, we've had a five course vegetarian at Rovers for 25 years. Wow. Along with five course with foie gras, uh, butter, cream. We use mm -hmm. anything that's good, we eat it. I think that's good. And, it, and too, it's not that like being a vegetarian doesn't necessarily mean that you're healthy. No. There's, I know a lot of Many vegetarians, vegetarian people eat the wrong thing. Meat, they eat sugar, cheese, sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm with you. Yeah. I think it's, yeah, it's more about the quality of your food. I think it's a uh, balance. Right. So the front doesn't tip over, <laughs> and the back doesn't go backwards. <laughs> you gotta balance. <laughs> It's all good food in here. Yeah. Very important. It's a cover. We never know what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where are you You're going to be hungry if we go on bad days. No. You need to eat something. No. I don't have that problem. No, it's good thing. <laughs> all right, where are we? Ooh, let's take these out. Oh, let's take these out. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. you really turned it up. Yeah, I turned it up a notch. Bam! <laughs> oh, you guys know that guy. He's in town. You guys knew he was in town? Alright. Who? Should so, I mix the whole thing up? Sure. It just makes me happy. Okay, good. Feels like we're in the kitchen together cooking something. Do you want me to cook it a little bit longer or is that going to no, be No, that's perfect. Perfect? So, all we're going to do, and I, um, we should wait a few minutes for it to Cool. Why? Because we're going to put it in the blender. And? And if you put it in the blender and it's so hot, then it's going to get like stuck and steamed and it'll be able to take the lid off. Right? Okay, now that's a good story. Yeah. Let's just take this lid off. Okay. I work in the kitchen every day. <laughs> this is the yeah, difference between be... somebody who likes to be nice and... Yeah, in the kitchen it. you should see cooks how they work. <laughs> if there would be papers everywhere, Tomatoes on the floor, yeah. like did. Yeah. That's how cooks work, right? No, I'm just Last one of the I'm peppers. Just to be, uh... But you do have a point that when the heat comes up, the uh, rubber of the uh, lid will definitely expand. Yeah. You just have to be careful, but you can. Yeah, I will help you. Okay. I'll be the man in the house. So. Let's put a little more pepper and I'm going to put some cumin in it to give a little bit more bite. So cumin and pepper, any other spice? Um, a little sea salt. Sea salt. You know, it's kind of funny when people say sea salt. Why? Would you ever guess where the sea come, uh, the salt come from? Well, it's not all sea salt. When, wherever there was sea, there was salt. Salt has always been coming from the sea. I just think it's kind of a weird. Let me know when. Okay. It's not very. It's not okay. it's good. Yeah. Um, and then normally I would put water in it to, to help blend it, but there's no water. We have water. You want water? Okay. Okay. Is that good? Okay. Okay. I like the flavor of olive oil, so. Yeah. Can we turn this on? Yeah. Just blend it. I don't know if it's magic, but there's a dance that comes with the blending. 
Perillion. So, what makes it very sad? So, it's the, the spice and the jalapeno and the onion. And we actually lost the garlic somewhere along the way. So, you can throw a couple of cloves of garlic in there too. So, because harissa is normally made with Moroccan or African, North African pepper, but we use using This is my uh, Northwest. Northwest harissa. Right. Okay, that makes sense. I got you. I'm just going to I'm listening, I'm learning. Okay. <laughs> I want to make sure I get this right. <laughs> okay, so that's our sauce. And... Oh, that sandwich is ready. Is it? Yeah, perfect. So, do you want to try to see if it's cooked in the middle? Oh, it's beautiful, yeah. look at you. Okay. So there's another way, there's another way you can tell if your salmon is actually getting ready to be, to cook, to be cooked all the way. Is if you look at the side of your salmon, and you see that white stuff on the side here, it's albumin that's coming out of the fish. That means your fish is by now medium rare. If you want it more cooked, you're gonna have plenty of it around the fish. I'm sure you've all seen your salmon getting like all that white stuff yeah. on it. Yeah. That's basically that it, every time you cook the fish, the albumin come on the outside and start cooking. It's like egg white. Think of it as if you had egg white on the outside of your salmon. So when that stuff starts to get really white, that's when your salmon is ready, especially on a skinny piece like that. Mademoiselle, yes. go right ahead. Okay. Sorry, I'm done so, talking. So normally we would uh, wait for this to cook. Or is it just to sit? Mm -hmm. oh, come on, I'm like that. No, we got a cocktail to go no, through. No, we got a cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> so by having pre-blanched the potatoes, it didn't take very long for them to warm up and be very nice and kind of having a little toasting around it. I mean, obviously you could keep it in there longer, right? Right. Okay. Same with the asparagus and everything. Do you use that because you don't want to burn yourself, or is it just because you like to use it's that? Because it's you know more clean to wash and clean. How's your hand doing? So you could actually put the sauce over the entire plate, and it would taste great. That would be so pretty. Yeah. You want to do that? Sure. You want to do here? Yeah. Let's use a new plate. Oh, oh, it's good. Is that what you made? Okay. Yeah. I'll do it. Make it all awesome. clean. Well, you said you, said you wanted to make it I fancy. Know, I can't do it. Oh, I'm only doing what you said. You go like this? Yeah. Is that what you meant? Yeah, exactly. Just want to make sure I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. Okay. So now we just do this. Yeah. I use my hand because I can. My hand of chefs are seasoned. They're good seasoning. They're good seasoning for the dish. Ah, yeah, yeah. you know what? Without that flavor, yeah, like it just doesn't taste as good. Yeah. Plus, I can go like this. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. Yes. Is that what you wanted? Everything, everything is here, right? Everything's there. Ladies and gentlemen, good round of applause for Sarah. <laughs> So while uh, being the be on stage with Terry should be prize enough, that's not all Sarah gets. She, she has uh, received a hand stick blender from Viking. Woo! As well as some other goodies in the bag that I didn't open and go through, so I don't know what's in there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's give her another round of applause. Woo! And Sarah, that's not all. There's a call waiting for you. <laughs> Oh, with that car, all you have to do is figure out how to hotwire it and scrape off all the VIN numbers, and you're fine. It's, fine. <laughs> it's a hot car. <laughs> do you have a word for public? Do you have anything you want to tell them? Anything? What, what website should they go to if they want to deal with you? As yeah, and um, so I. Oh, okay. Oh. You almost forgot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's talk about Sarah for a minute. Yeah. Oh, ready. Um, so uh, the website, my business website is. Um, 
practical side and a realistic side. Um, meaning that I obviously don't spend hours in the kitchen, but you can still eat well, you can still eat healthy, you can still eat pretty relatively inexpensively. Um, if you just know a few cooking techniques and things to think about, um, so it's simplyrealhealth.com. And then I also write a blog that is a page on the website. Um, and I do a weekly recipe, healthy recipe, with you know five ingredients or less, 20 minutes or less, stuff that you can find at any grocery store to make it practical. Easy, fun, if she keeps on going, we're gonna be all our businesses here. Yeah. <laughs> I have a, I have a couple of gift certificates I want to give away. Twenty bucks to the Bedtown Pub. You want one? Just like that, you're gonna raise your hand. I want one. Wait, before you get one, we're gonna have Sarah pick a question. You raise your hand. If you know the answer, you get the gift certificate. What is the question? Oh, okay. Something you've said in the last 30 minutes or hour. Uh, what does the white on the salmon mean? Sir! Right. You won! Alright! Congratulations! Alright, I got another one. What question do you have this time? Uh, How many ingredients are in the Harissa recipe that Sarah just made? Young man. Three. Yes! You won! Can you go to the Bentham Club? Are you doing one? <laughs> it's okay, they serve burger, you can have one, that's fine. Alright, you ready for this? One more question. How old is Sarah? Just kidding. Just joking, stop right now. Just kidding. Come on, it's a French joke. I already know who she is. 19. You lost. Website. Oh, I Okay, she's got a question. What's my website? What's a website? Hey. Realhealth.com. Here you go. Simply realhealth.com. So it was a pleasure having you here. I get to see that today.